y'all welcome back to my channel this is sincerely anise janelle and i am anise um if you're new here thank you guys for joining me if you're returning what's up so y'all know how this go i do my wash days late at night <laughs> actually this is low-key becoming a habit because i really didn't want to start this late it's nine o'clock at night um but it just happened like that. Listen, I gotta start deep conditioning. I kind of already started. So that's why my hair is already parted in sections. Um, I'll be using Myel's Rosemary Mint Strengthening Hair Mask. It's infused with biotin and encourages growth. It's pretty thick. As you can see where I'm at, this is virtually a new bottle. I ain't had this this long. <laughs> probably, I've probably used this almost two times maybe two times i don't know <sighs> yeah but um kind of already started got it sectioned off um this is not gonna sit that long usually if i do deep conditions i'll leave this junk in overnight i ain't doing nothing too uh, drastic especially if i'm doing like a twist out or a braid out it's not that deep leave it in overnight wash out in the morning start on my hair by the morning time and be done by one two o'clock the afternoon there we are all right so i don't quite know what i want to do with my hair i really wanted to do some curls but it's not happening this weekend i don't have time to do it i need to go get some more product i'm out of mousse um which actually sucks i really did want to do some curls i haven't done curls in a minute Especially since I've been getting my hair straightened and now I got a brand new color. I really want to see what it looks like. But it's alright. I'll save it for I guess the week after next. Next week is the Black Food Truck Festival. So I definitely can can't do my hair like that. I will have to I will need my hair to already be done. That's where I'm at with this. My hair's gonna have to be done Friday. So when I go out Saturday, I'm cute and seen. Something new for my one of them boxes is coming out. No, everyone and their mama gonna be out there. And this is single. So, <laughs> I'm out. I'm outside. Um, somebody's finna see me. Anyway, that's where I was at. So, I think I'm gonna say that for Mother's Day. I don't know. I, that may be my style. Find me a nice dress or outfit to wear. That'd be my look. But... Yeah, I think I might just do a braid out. I think that's simple enough. Um, something I have not done on this channel. So that's also new. Gives the perm rise and the twist house a little break. Um, I know a future style I'm thinking of. I want to get... So I have I have a pack of clip-ins actually. But they're from Better Link. I'm going to try King of um, clip-ins. I want to do the blown out style. I think maybe 18, 20 inches. I don't know. <laughs> but I think that's what I want to do but I also want to get the front braided I saw this girl's video on Instagram and was like that's cute usually when I wear my clippings I do a half up half down type look and for a long time <laughs> people were like is that your hair no but I ain't telling you that yep that's me I'm just lying it's clippings I would tell them after the fact but they really thought it was my hair because it looked you know, this is before I had color. Oh, I'm lying. Did I have the color? No, the color already started growing up by then. So you couldn't see it. Um, oh, no, no, I'm really lying. No, no, The first time, when I first got the clippings, I did not have that color yet. And it matched perfectly. People thought it was my hair. And then when I got my hair colored, I had to finesse it. I had to go get the temporary... It ain't dye. But I want to say, like, wax coloring paint whatever that they sell I had to go get that to blend with my hair so it looked like I had the clippings colored because otherwise it'd be looking like why you get the big blonde streak and nothing else is blonde in your hair so I made that work uh this time I'm gonna have to go get my stylist to dye the clippings I want to get the hair braided in the front have it down you know I don't know how to, I don't know what that style is called but braid it up and have the braids down maybe a couple bees i'm not sure i don't think that's my bag but maybe the bees right here and then the clippings in the back to be nice and long i'm thinking about 18 20 inch and that'll be my little summer style for a couple weeks because i gotta get my hair break it's it's done the most it's gotten 
silk press twice within the last two months um colored on top of that my hair texture is definitely not the same so i'm trying to get it to get itself together you know i'm trying to make sure i'm back on my routine of when i first became natural or transitioning transitioning to natural i deep conditioned every week i don't care what was going on i made sure i deep conditioned every week i did my hair every week i took care of my hair i oiled my hair i was on my hair like white on rice did not play them games because i wanted it to be healthy and i wanted it to be fully natural and we're gonna speed this baby up we're gonna grow and we're gonna grow strong so here we are so we back on this pattern um i need to get some olaplex my stylist did mention that to me and for a long time i did not realize that was for us i mean i didn't realize that was something that we used but she was like no get that so i need to invest in olaplex olaplex is expensive uh 28 dollars for a bottle that big I'm, I'm sorry what that's expensive for some shampoo or conditioner and that's just probably one or the other but all right i mean it's my hair sincerely and you know this is my love letter once again i love you so i'm gonna take care of you i'm gonna do the best you're gonna have the best because we are what the best it's all right i love my girl so anything for her <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and wash this out um but i will be back if it's not back tonight then i'll be back in the morning all right good morning y'all so i have to re-record what i just said because i didn't have the microphone on <laughs> i need to just leave this junk on my shirt i take it off because i don't want to be walking back and forth with it i need to just leave this on my shirt i had it across the room or i put it down to get up to go get something and started recording like seven minutes worth of stuff and realized that's not the mic this is your shirt It's the morning time. I'm tired. We're going to get right into this. <laughs> my hair is already sectioned off. <laughs> um, and I apologize if you can hear every piece of nap breaking off in this brush. Because the mic is right there. Um, yeah. But, so we're going to do a braid out today. Like I said, I really want to do some curls, but I don't have time. I got stuff to do. So... My goal is to go ahead and put some braids in. I'll be doing a braid. I have not done one on this channel yet. Um, and those I really like. I like how the definition is. And I'm going to be using my Camille Rose. It is the Honeycomb Curl Whip Texture Defining Super Cream. And when I say... When I say this line is dangerous curls popping do you hear me definition on point uh, mm -mm. i remember the first time i used this line i had a girl start start stop me in target like what did you use on your hair and my sister was with me and at that and when i when i saw my hair as i did i was like this is fire no one told me about camille rose like why didn't y'all tell me because i would have been used i think i got a clip Y'all, why y'all ain't tell me? Why y'all ain't tell me? <laughs> Cause once I stretch this hair gonna come out like this I didn't know that definition was ridiculous and ever since I've been using it so I'll be using this product and my sister will automatically know I have it because the smell is just it's in your face it smells like honey you might as well say this is perfume. My hair smells sweet all week. <laughs> but it's cool. I like it. I want you to smell it. When I walk past when I walk past you. 
Mm, what she got on? That's what I want. So it don't matter. All right, but let's get this popping because, like I said, I got to go. Also, I want to say thank you guys for your continued support. Um, I said this in my seven minute video that no one can hear. Um, but I got a update from YouTube. I got an email just basically talking about, um, you know, how many views I got for the month. And we have 3,000 views. Um, we gained 110 followers or new followers. We are currently sitting at 128 subscribers. Um, so I am very happy about that. Um, you know, I'm looking forward to the things to come. I'm looking forward to everything that is going to happen with this channel. Um, I'm very thankful for the amount of subscribers I have because this has only been three weeks. I said that to one of my friends and they were like, wait, you only had the channel for three weeks? Yes, I've only had the channel for three weeks and this is what we're doing. This is the numbers we are, we have and the followers and I am I'm thankful. I look at a lot of other uh, people that I follow and their channels. Um, you know, this girl I'm following has, oh my gosh. I'm looking at this girl I, I follow and she has 900,000 subscribers, but she's been doing this since college. And I had to look at it like that. Like all the the people that you follow, their success is not overnight. They've been doing it for a while and they perfected their craft and this is where they are. I'm only three weeks in and I'm not dismissing or, or knocking down what I did um, or have been doing, but this is three weeks worth of work, promotion, um, I, if you're following me on Instagram or TikTok or Snapchat, even Facebook, <laughs> my Facebook friends and family, y'all can get it too. I have been on promotion mode heavy. Uh, I have been plastering my videos everywhere. That link tree, a link everywhere. Now I'm going to hit this mic. Well, that was interruption number one. <laughs> I told y'all my family will be interrupting. It never fails. It never fails. Love them know. Um, but I, like I think I was saying, I have been on promotion mode heavy. Um, my listen, my son even my son even know what time it is. He promoting for me. <laughs> he was with his grandparents. Uh, like I said, he's with his grandparents. Um, for the week for a spring break and I saw a comment one day I was just on my phone I don't like how this came up um, I saw a comment pop up and I was like is that and I called her I was like hey um, are you on YouTube yeah 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 I'm showing granny and we're watching your video right now <laughs> and um, you're gonna get another subscriber because I'm gonna subscribe from her phone you know what if nobody else got me, I know my family got me, but if nobody else got me, my son got me. Thank you, baby. Good looking out. That that made my heart smile. My child was thinking about me while he was away having a good time and wanted people to see his mommy on YouTube. Go ahead, boy. So, I'm going. I'm, I'm, I'm finna be running these numbers up. The work ethic, I'm finna be getting this page where I need it to be. And I know my friends and my family got me and they support me. And I'm going to continue to speak. Oh, look. I can see the definition from afar. And I barely got product on this. Y'all better get that honey line from Camille Rose. I'm trying to tell you. It does wonders. My old coworker was like, she texted me after she watched one of my videos and was like, Anise, your page feels like the way you are at work. And I took that as a compliment because she was like, it doesn't feel like you changed your personality. Like, I feel like I'm still talking to you when I'm at work. 
and that's the way I want to feel. If you actually know me, I want to be like, oh no, it's still me. This ain't no alternate personality. She ain't doing nothing extra to be on YouTube and make people think she one way when she's not. Like, this is exactly how she is. And I appreciate that. That's, that's the way I want it to come off. I'm real life silly. I like to laugh. I like to have a good time. I like to go out. I like to do things with my family and my sister. My sister is my roadie. So y'all will see Alina all the time. Uh, except for when I'm doing this part right here. Unless I need her to braid my hair or she's doing a protective style for me. Uh, y'all will see Alina all the time. Ugh. The nails are a little too long this time. Um, <laughs> I'll be back. Alright y'all, I'm back. So I had to get the back down because I could not do this on camera. I'm not used to doing it like that, but um, come on little girls. results what you think y'all let me know is we popping or not because i already told you that honey line from camille rose does not play i already told you do you not see the definition go get it i said enough go get it go get it that's all i gotta say <laughs> stop <laughs> Like some of these are not even fully unraveled. Like I still have some chunks, but I don't want it to be overpicked and then it becomes fuzzy. So the goal is to make sure it's just like this. It'll naturally grow and get bigger on its own. I've already picked and teased a little bit. I've kind of pulled, you know, a lot of this and um, I kind of picked my roots to lift it up a little bit more to give it more volume. But other than that, it's good to go. Now, the true goal is how long can I wear my hair like this? <laughs> because, and maybe that's my issue. That might just be me as a natural. Um, if it don't look like this no more, it's going in a puff. It's going in a little ponytail. I can't do it. Because if I got to overly finesse it every day to get it back to this, after I went to sleep on it, and it's probably me, I do wear a bonnet. But baby, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> 
might be dented on one side. I ain't got time. We're just gonna throw that junk up and call it a day. But it still looks good. As long as it looks good, I don't care. But the goal is to see how long I can wear this. Um, so I may do that. I may do like a TikTok day one through whatever, or I'll just update on Instagram and I'll put the socials below so you can find me. If you're not already watching, I hope you are. And if you have made it this far as a new watcher, I hope you subscribe and continue to follow me on my journey of natural hair and health and fitness and vlogging and traveling um, because sister trips are coming up. I'm already planning. My 35th birthday is in February. I just had my birthday, which was the start of this. And... What I wanted to do, but could not do, I had some things going on, couldn't afford to do at the moment. I wanted to go to um, New Orleans. That was my goal for my 35th. So I'm low-key already starting to plan. I mean, I got till February, but I'm starting to plan right now. That way I got things in, in place. My sister's birthday is coming up. She's going to be 30 in November. Ooh, it's finna rain. <laughs> Her 30th is coming in November, so I definitely got to start planning that. Um... You know, the summer's kind, summertime is coming up. School's coming, get ready to be out. I hear my child. At the, he's back, so, you know, <laughs> he may interrupt in a minute. Um, but summertime is coming up, so, you know, I know my child wants to go do something fun. So, we got vlogging to do. We got, we got some trips to take. Um, any other thing going on right now? I still have the plus size fashion. I still have two boxes of clothes staring at me as we speak. And I've already found a location. I want to take some pictures. Like I really want it to be, I want you to see all the details. I don't want you, I don't want you to just see the dress. Like I want you to see an outside setting with shoes, with jewelry, my hair. I want the whole look. So I plan on taking some pictures. If not this weekend, Maybe next weekend. Um, I know we have the Black Food Truck Festival coming up. So we're going to that. One of the outfits I'm definitely wearing there. Because I just want to be cute and be seen. It's a flowy maxi dress. It's orange. It has a split up the front. I got to find some shoes to go with it. But yeah. Y'all going to see that one. Y'all going to see that. Anyway. <laughs> well, I hope you guys all had a great Easter. Happy Resurrection, Sun Resurrection Sunday. Um... I hope you all enjoy times with your family and join me again next week. Uh, I will probably vlog the festival. Not only, I mean, I know I'm going to take pictures, but I will probably vlog the festival and what I'm wearing and how I'll do my hair, whatever the case may be. But I hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Thank you guys for watching once again. Please like, share, and subscribe if you can. And I appreciate you and I'll see you next time.